think it really is important for the kids to understand that the world is full of a lot of unsolved problems that keep popping up that nobody's ever seen before. And really having the ability to take very complex problems and reduce them to a couple of different uh, sets of tasks and in only six weeks deliver a solution to a problem is a microcosm of what the real world of engineering can be like. And it makes it, I think, very relevant and also very exciting. So that's why we do it and it's worked very well. Hi, uh, I'm Kathy Rutherford. I am an electrical engineer and a biomedical engineer. I'm a senior IEEE member and I have been involved as a first judge for six years in the Jersey Regional. And last year as I was driving up from the Jersey Regional, I thought, I wonder if my old high school has a team. And my old high school is the Mary Lewis Academy from Queens. And I called up, uh, I wrote them an email, and they got right back to me. They were excited. And they decided to have a team. They recruited Mr. Vinod Lala, who hopefully you'll meet. He's the uh, team mentor and coach, and he's done an unbelievable job with the girls, and uh, very dedicated. And I love the way the girls are all involved. And one year later, one exact year later, 365 days later, I'm here, they have a team, it's a viable team, I love it. I'm so excited, it's great. And they're moving on. And they're moving on, which I just found out, and I'm, I'm so excited. It's great to be able to help put a program in place that you didn't have when you were a kid, and I am so excited to be able to bring this to these girls. very first year we did this, the kit would fit in a shoebox. We had no radio control. They were manually driven with wires. And we had very little sensor technology. Today, the robots weigh 130 pounds. They are easily bigger than I am when they're extended. If they want to climb, they can shoot a ball across a basketball court. They're completely radio controlled. They have very sophisticated control systems designed and built by national instruments called CREOs. It's a very advanced engineering development tool. There's lots of neat motors, power supplies, battery technology in them. Uh, the kits get bigger and more sophisticated every year. The challenge gets more sophisticated every year, and that's why everybody comes back. I think the thing I'm most proud of about FIRST isn't the robots or any particular technology. What I'm most proud of is the people. Whether it's the students that act with incredible, gracious professionalism because that's the culture of FIRST, or the parents or the teachers, or the now nearly 90,000 volunteers and mentors that are working with these kids, the scientists and engineers and technology people that are devoting their nights and weekends for six intense weeks and then for a couple of months working with these kids, creates a community of just world-class people that are fiercely competitive while being un unbelievably supportive of each other. I only wish the rest of the world uh, could do it this well, but as we grow and spread, we will be a model for the world, and that's what I'm proud of.